friends. Good morning, friends. It's great to be with you this morning. Uh, thanks for joining Lansing United Methodist Church during this Advent season as we share words from Kate Bowler. Bless the Advent we actually have. Today is day four, and the devotional theme for today is compressed hope. Now the Lord said to Abram, leave your country, your family, and your father's house, and go to the land that I will show you, and I will make, a, make you a great nation. I will bring good to you. I will make your name great, so you will be honored. God took him outside and said, now look up into the heavens and add up all the stars, if you're able to number them. Then God said to him, your children and your children's children will be as many as the stars. Then Abram believed in the Lord, and that made him right with God. These scriptures come this morning from the book of Genesis, uh, chapter 12, verse 1 and 2, and chapter 15, verses 6, 6, or 5 and 6, excuse me. <clears throat> so here are these words from Kate Bowler in this devo devotional this morning. Life is so beautiful. Life is so hard for everyone. That was one of my biggest realizations after I got sick. I needed so much help financially, emotionally, physically, and I would not have been able to make it through without the compassion of strangers and friends. Pain can make narcissists out of the best of us. It demands all of our time and attention and very quickly becomes the loudest voice in the room. How easy it is to forget. Forget there is someone turning on and off the stars. Forget that the sun rises and sets without us having to remind it to. Forget that there's someone who makes each snowflake unique. Forget that there is one who provides the rain and knows when a single sparrow falls from the sky. These tiny miracles can be reminders to us that God holds the world together, not us. It reminds us that God created the whole world and we are dependent on God. And thank God for that because we might be having trouble with regular problems instead, making doctors and insurance paperwork makes sense, navigating complicated relationships with our family around the holidays, and just re remembering to take out the trash on the right day of the week. Hope is found in knowing that even though it feels like the world is coming undone in my time, and maybe in my life situation, the truth is that the sun keeps rising every day and the stars still shine at night. The whole world shines hope upon us every day. We're just like Abram in Genesis 12, called out of our comfortable worlds into a hope for a future we cannot yet see. We must trust God to show us the beauty and promises of the bigger story as we try to count the stars. Here are a few things that we could reflect on. <clears throat> Abram was busy living his own life and seeking his own future. And God interrupts, telling him to pack his boxes. God promised Abraham that there was a future for his descendants, that they would multiply just as the stars in heaven, an ever living reminder of God's steady promise. What do you imagine went through Abram's mind as he heard this outlandish promise from God. What holds you back from embracing the beauty that God has for you? Beauty that can live alongside your very loud, very real pain. Is it because you feel stuck or hopeless? Is it the fear of the unknown or fear of being disappointed? What keeps you from believing that God is taking care of the world, including you? 
How might God be calling you to step out of your comfort or pain of your own world and to look around so God can show you something beautiful? Perhaps you might want to, or we might want to consider starting some sort of collection of something beautiful, whatever you find beauty in and um, in, in around the world. Kate Bowler offers this blessing for waking up to life again, a blessing for waking up to life again. Blessed are we who say, wake me too, God. Put me where beauty and love can reach me. I'm ready for something new. May it be so. Amen.